Look, Abiageli. Look, on no account should you open that stinking mouth of yours and talk back at me. Is seven years not enough for any woman that calls herself a woman to bear children? Is seven years not enough? Or are you still waiting for God's time, like you keep saying? Mama, it's not that I don't want to bear you a grandchild. But the problem is that the children are not forthcoming. So, in that case, fold your arms. Wait for them. Let them look for you and run coming to you. Wait for them. Keep waiting. Wait for the children. They will come. You hear? Keep waiting. I want Benji. I want my son Benji, but he wouldn't listen. Benji wouldn't listen to his mother. I want him when he was coming to marry you. Now look at it. No child. Mama, I am a human being and not God. And I know that one day God is going to take this reproach away from me. Don't worry. God will take the reproach away. I have spoken. All I need is a grandchild, Obergeli. That is all. If you like, keep waiting for anybody. That is your business. But as for me, Uloma, all I need is a grandchild. Look at Kenneth. Kenneth just married not long ago. Yes, married with you not long ago. Now they have a bouncing baby girl. God knows. Only God knows whether Obergeli is pregnant again. Maybe. You, you keep waiting. Wait, 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 Wanyaga, keep waiting. Hey, I will wait. I will wait. God's time is the best. Hey, mama. Keep waiting. Hey, yes, I will keep wait. Wait, 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 So, Ken, <clears throat> all these things you're saying, they're not strange to me. Mothers will always need grandchildren whenever their sons get married. So your mother is no different. But as the man of the house, you have to try and make us a reason. Ken, Ken, you, you sound as if you don't know my mother. Look, to be honest with you, her staying in my house is causing my wife high blood pressure. No matter what my wife does, she complains. My mother is always complaining. What then do you wish to do? I don't know. You just have to try and put all these things behind you and hope that one day things will sort themselves out. Or would you want me to come over and speak with her? I would really appreciate it if you can, okay? And I pray it works. Okay. Let's see what happens. Bye, girl. Sir. I'll be your place. Yes, Oh, thank God you're back. 
Thank You're God. welcome. Thank you. I'm so sorry for keeping you awake. Please accept my sincere apology. Apology accepted. Thank you. So what kept you so long? Sit down, sit down, sit down. <laughs> Who were you with at this dangerous time of the night? Who else than my best childhood friend, Ben? He invited me over to Monarch restaurant for a discussion about his mother. Is she sick or what? No, she's just been hustling him about his not being able to have a child since he got married. She's pressuring him so much that she's gotten aggressive about it. Poor him. Why won't mothers allow God to take control? <laughs> After all, children are gifts from God. That's true. It is not by our power. Well, I, um, I just advised him to take it easy, put it all behind him, yes. and that tomorrow I'll go and speak with his mother. Okay. Yeah. All right. So, can I get your food for you? Food? Mm -hmm. I said, Ben invited me over to Monarch Restaurant. <laughs> I'm, I'm sorry. <laughs> By the way, where's our little girl? Where's Jane? Uh, she has gone to bed. Oh, I see. Yeah. Okay. Well, let me just... Uh, let me rest for a while before I take a shower. <laughs> so, let me... Bring your back for okay. You. okay. Okay. Hey. Hey. For I am a descendant of Abraham, and Abraham's blessings are mine. Because I am childless. Papa, when will these sorrows come to an end? Remember your promise in Exodus 23 26 that there shall be no barren in the land. Papa, I know I am not barren, I will never be. God, in John 14 14. You said, ask me for anything in my name and I will do it. God, I ask for a child. Just a child to cuddle. I'm not asking for two, just one. Abraham's blessings are mine. Abraham's blessings are mine. I am blessed in the morning. I am blessed in the evening. Abraham's blessings are mine. Look here, Megali. Have you finished praying? Have you? I'm asking you. Let me warn you. If you like, keep wasting all that my son has labored for in life. Keep wasting it. All I want is a grandchild. Hey, all Oloma is asking for is a grandchild. And my going back to the village does not stop me from asking for it. If you can't conceive, you better tell me. Tell me now so that I can get another woman for my only son, Benji. Mama, why all this again? Mama, why all this? Look, let me take you to the park. I'm, I'm late for work. It's all right, okay? It's all right. Stop crying. Wipe your tears, okay? Look, Mama is only joking. Ah! <gasps> Mama is only joking. I'm not joking, though. Benji, stop it! Stop it, Benji! And you? Obiagili, I give you nine months of grace. If you don't conceive and bear me a grandchild, you will see my next line of action. Yes. And you people, are you not ashamed of yourself? Are you not ashamed? 
buying and selling expensive cars. While your mates, your mates have gotten two, three, four, five children. What have you got to show for your marriage? Nothing! No chance! Mama, please! Mama, please! Um, go in and freshen up, okay? Quickly, just go in and freshen up. Uh, come in! Ken! Ben, Ben! Mama! Mama, you're welcome! Ken! You're looking sweet! You're welcome! Looking younger every day! It is good! Oh, Chuku! Mama, it's like you're going back to the village! Yes! Mama, I'm sorry we did not come to see you since you came. It's just because my little kid, Jane, has not been feeling fine. Eh? Yes. Jane? She hasn't been well. Oh. Oh. How is she feeling now? Uh, she's, getting she's getting better. She's okay. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> You're pregnant. Uh oh, please. Ah, uh, Mama, no! <laughs> Scolding. No, no, no. <laughs> hey, hey. Where is Odi? Has she gone to the market? Which market? That one. She's inside doing nothing. Ken, would you? You people should get that one now. Every stubborn grasshopper ends up in the stomach of a bed. Mama, please. It's Just okay. take it easy with her. It will be alright. No please. problem. Please. I am not quarreling with anybody. I'm not quarreling with her. But Uloma has spoken. Please, it's okay. It's it, okay. it will be all right. Please. Okay. Please. Benji, I have overstayed my welcome. Come and take me to the park. In your own Mama. house, Mama. Mama, What is all this? God. Your mother-in-law is saying all this just to break your heart. If you die of heartbreak, she will find another wife for her son. Be courageous. Stand on your faith. Pray without ceasing. Challenge God on his words. God promised us in Jeremiah 29 verse 11 that the thought he has for his children is thought of peace and not of evil. He has given us future and hope. And you are here crying. Jesus Christ. Richard. Yes. I am tired. I've tried all I can. I know. I know, man. I just feel like killing it's myself. It's okay. But still hope in God. He does his own things. I know you're going through a lot now. But please, just take it easy. I'm sure when God answers your prayer, your mother-in-law will sing a new song. Amen. Yes. Please, just take it easy. God's own time. We make ourselves in the morning hours. Mm. I hope all is well. <sighs> all is not well. Erima, won't you offer me a seat? Sorry, my in law. Sit down, eh? Thank you. 
All is not well, Irima. I'm worried. I am bothered. I am worried about your daughter's inability to give my son a child. Uloma, what did you just say? In case you didn't hear me the first time, I will repeat myself. I am bothered about your daughter's continual stay in my son's house. If she's a woman, then let her conceive and bear my son a child. All I want is a grandchild. Now I understand. Look at me. Am I barren? If your mission this morning is to come and spoil my day, it won't work. But if it's an embarrassment, I will give it to you. Uloma, how many children do you have? How many children do you have? Only one. I mean, only one. Myself, I have seven children all alive. Who among us is now barren? Why were you not able to produce at least more than one? And all Oma? So, Erima. This is all you have to say in this matter, eh? Hmm. Hmm. Hey, you are here bragging. Had it been you have the power, you should at least produce more than one. My advice to you is allow the sleeping dog lie. Give my daughter a breathing space. But mind you, if your son is well as you cleaned, eh, they should have children. Hmm. Hmm. Erima, so this is all you have to say concerning this issue. Eh? Okay, I have not come here to butter words with you. I've only come so that we can find a solution. But since this is all you have to say, be prepared. Be very prepared for me. All Oloma wants is a grandchild. Then wait for me. Because I will surely come back. Oloma have spoken. Yes. I have spoken. I will come back. And when I come back, you will not be laughing the way you are laughing. And you will not be talking the way you are talking. Sure, you take a lot of vegetables. That would help improve your health condition very well. is perfect, madam. It's just that uh, you are six weeks uh, pregnant. <sighs> what is wrong, madam? Is anything the matter? You are shivering. <sighs> and also quiet. What's the problem? 
I am not feverish. I'm only shedding tears of joy. God has finally taken away my reproach. Doctor, am I dreaming? Am I really pregnant? Please, doctor, tell me. Madam Obi, you are not dreaming. You are pregnant. Congratulations. has been restored in my family. But one thing that keeps disturbing me is this recurrent dream I have about her. I'd love to go and see her, but I can't. Because to see my mother is to cause another trouble. Well, then, in spite of everything, you still have to go and see her. You have to make an effort. You know, she's doing what she believes is in her own interest. Yes. Besides, you can't blame her. You are her only hope. Yes. Ben, please, listen to my, your friend's advice. Your mother is an old woman. And no woman will fold her arms and watch her only pancane get lost in fire. <laughs> Uju. You talk as if you were once an old woman. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, my wife will be sent her regards to you and Jane. Hey, yeah, how is she doing? Well, she traveled to see her mother in the village. Yeah. Okay. okay. I have to leave now. Uh, so I have an appointment to catch up with. <laughs> in that case, let me see you up to your car. Okay. Thank you. Thank you. Bye. Bye. I see you. Extend my greetings to Obi and tell her that I will come to see her. When she comes back. All right, bye. Tell her all I said. Hmm? May the good God guide you back to the city. Amen. <laughs> Mama, thank you very much for your moral support of this wife. I am happy. Obi, Mama, hide this your pregnancy so that devil will be asleep while you put to bed. Evil birds we are flying looking for whom to devour. Be very careful. <laughs> Mama, I've heard you. I must be very careful even on what to drink and eat. But Mama, should I mention this to my husband? My daughter, no. Don't tell him now. You know men, they hardly keep secrets. Whenever they hear good news, they like to spread it to their friends. Allow the pregnancy to grow at least up till four months before telling him. You know what? Be very careful. Thank you, Mama. I've heard you. Hmm? Mm -hmm. I'll be sending message to Brother Maker if anything comes up. Hmm? Let me get my bag. Market. 
How are you? Fine. When last did you hear from your son? I hope your grandchildren are all fine. Which grandchildren are you talking about? Uh, don't tell me that uh, your daughter in law has not given birth to any child. That log of wood. All that log of wood knows how to do is to use my son's money to buy expensive jewelry and cars. That is all she knows how to do. What are you doing about her childlessness? Haven't you heard about Okadike, the great harvest in this neighborhood? Take her there or go there and get some medicine for her. She just finished her youth service last week. Mm -hmm. Talk no more. Talk no more! For I have seen what I have been looking for since. Yes. When the time comes, I will meet you. We will see you next time. Okay, bye bye. Hey, sleepyhead. Oh, <laughs> mm. ah. How are you today? I'm fine. You're back? Uh -huh. yeah. How was your day? Well, the usual. Hectic. Darling, you've been sleeping a lot lately. I hope you're alright. I am okay. I'm fine. Are you sure? Yeah. Okay, if you say so. But I would prefer if you just make out some time to go and see Dr. Mike. At least to reassure yourself that you're all right. I am fine. Okay, it's all right, it's all right, it's all right. It's all right. <clears throat> Honey, mm -hmm. can you keep this secret for me? What is it? Whatever it is, I promise to keep it between us. Actually, my mother asked me not to tell you for now. Uh. But since we are one body, one soul, I can't keep it to myself any longer. So, tell me, what is it? I am three months pregnant. What? You mean, I am going to be a father very soon? Yes. Uh-huh. You must hear this, okay? Ken? Don't forget what your mother said, okay? This is, this is wonderful news. Ken and you must hear this, okay? Let, let's go in and get. I'm going to get dressed. <laughs> I'm going to be a father. This food is delicious. From now on, this is where we'll be taking a supper until our sweet baby is born. No more cooking in the house. 
because I do not want my lovely wife to go through any stress, okay? No, I disagree. Why? At least the food in the house has a different taste. Besides, so? I have to do the kicking myself as a form of exercise. Oh. Don't worry, your highness. You still come here occasionally, right? <laughs> okay, your majesty. <laughs> your wish is my command. <laughs> Can I, can I hear the baby? No, hear the meat. Ah, nah, ah, yeah, stop that now, stop, stop. Ah. <laughs> I'm not going to give you my mm. Thank you. I have a problem. State your mission, woman, for I have no time to waste. I am all ears. My daughter-in-law is after my life. She has sworn to kill me because I blame her for her inability to conceive and bear my son a child after seven years of marriage. Interesting. Where is the address of her son? To Ukebu Street. I want her eliminated. I want her out of the way. No big deal. This particular woman, how will one locate or spot her? She's the only woman in the compound. It's just a family of three. My son, my daughter-in-law, and the gate man. That's all. My boss can handle that. Okay. Your money is 150000 You have to pay before service. Here is 50,000. I will give you the balance when the job is done. Shut up, woman. Do you think I'm on a buying and selling business here? Yeah? This is human life we are talking about here, okay? You have to pay 100,000 up front, and after you bring the balance. I'll bring the balance when the job is done. Please, it's my daughter-in-law that I want to eliminate. Not my son. Please, no mistakes. Go and rest, woman. I assure you, your mission is as good as accomplished. Okay. Thank you. Around. Here she can write a note. Uh, you know. Okay. What of if person come from village? Well, um, we are not expecting anyone from the village. But if Mama happens to come, she knows her way in. Okay. Uh -huh. right. Open the gate.
happy. Ah, every day, so, so, so travel. <laughs> God, to give a lady good do. Maybe they've gone to the city. But it is two days now, and nobody has brought me news about Obekili's death. Or maybe Scorpion and his boys have been caught and arrested. to go to the city before something stupid happens. Yes. Let me go and dress up and go to the city. No problem, ma. Uh, no problem. What about your gun, madam? Are they inside the house? I, I didn't travel yesterday, now. Nah. Hey. I, I mean, you know, tell them, say, you tell them, say, they come. Ma, give me sorry, my bag. Sorry, sorry, ma. Do I have to send you people a telegram before visiting? Sorry, ma. Sorry for yourself. Sorry.
The next action is to bury this woman alive. Hey! Hey! Stone, I feel you. Where did you say you dug the well? A stone throw from here. Come on. Take her there. Get up. Untie her. Ulama, mm -hmm. what are you doing in the city? Then I want you to stay in your house until this is over. Hey, I waited for you to no avail. So I went to your usual hideout to see if I could see you. But when I got there, I, I didn't meet anybody. So I went, went, went to the city to, to, to see... <laughs> Shut up! You talk too much. Carry her. We must bury her. Hey! Please! Please! Stop my life! Ah! Please! Please! Hey! Eh. Please! Stop your please God. Stop my life. Stop your please. Please. In fact, I don't even want you to kill my daughter-in-law again. Please. Please spare her life. I don't want to kill anybody again. Eh? I promise that immediately I get to the village, I will I will pay you your balance. It was all my fault. I take the blame. Please, please spare my life, please. Free her. Oloma, hmm? I am looking forward to seeing you as you promised. Oh. Stone. Guys, let's go. How come? This TV is not up to one hour or 30 minutes where you come. Now I just hear these people, the full empty men, they just enter, brrr, carry me, now for granted, here, bam. Tie me, carry my mama. Wait, wait, did they take my mama to? I don't know. my son's house safely. Father, please, please, 
I feel very weak. I feel faint. Please, please give me strength. Father, all I need now is strength. Lord, give me strength. I'm so weak. Prevent. Protect me, O oh Lord. Oh, protect me. I'm so weak, oh. Oh, I ask for your strength. Oh, strength. Lord, give me strength, oh. Oh, strength. The strength that will see me through to my son's house. Father, I promise that if you allow me to get to my son's house, I will never plan evil. Against anyone. Never. Please, Father, help me. Help me oh, to be faithful to this vow. Please, let me keep to this vow. I will never plan you. Against anyone, oh, I just ask for strength. Strength that will take me to my son's house. A week, oh, I'm wobbly. Oh, I just need a place to rest till morning. in the house. Uh, uh. Mama. Uh? My God. You look awful. Uh. Come on. What happened? Come, come, come. come and sit down. It's all right. It's all right. It's all right. It's okay. Sit, sit down. Uh. Sit down. Uh. Mama, tell me. Talk to me. What, what happened? Uh. Those people told me that your wife, Obegeli, sent them to kill me. Those people. Mama, who are they? Those people. Look, Mama, talk to me, okay? Talk to me. Don't tell me. The people that your wife sent to kill me now. But my chi is very much alive. My chi is still very much awake. Papa Geli, you will know no peace. Oh, Biageli can never know peace. Mama. Mama, are you sure of what you're saying? Are you? My son, at my age, do you think I will tell you lies? Eh? Oh, Biageli sent them to kill me. But my chi is very much alive. Thank God. The dog, a very big grave. They wanted to bury me inside that grave. <sighs> but my chi, my chi saved me. Mm. God just gave me the word at the right time. I just screamed, Blood of Jesus! And thunder struck. And all of them disappeared. And I ran all night. <sighs> it's it's alright. Mm. Thank God you're safe now. Okay? Hey, thank it's God right. I'm alive. Mama. Mama. Get out of here! How dare you come near me? I think you can kill me. My chin is awake. You cannot succeed. No way. No way. I don't tell you. You will go inside that place, pack your things, and leave my son's house this moment. Ah, Obiageli, you cannot kill me. 
I'm very much alive because my chi is alive. <laughs> you think you can deceive me with pillow inside your stomach? Or you can deceive us, me and my son, with that pillow you put inside your stomach? I will pull off that pillow right now. And then you will go and pack your things and leave this house. This minute! Mama. Mama, I am innocent. It might interest you to know that I'm five months pregnant for your son. It's okay. Hmm? Pregnant. Benji? Benji, is it true? Yes, Mama. Obegeli? Ew. Obegeli, Mwam. So you are pregnant? Hey! Obasi, no, no, I thank you. Chukuna, thank God, do. Eh? Hey. Hey. Wait, wait. Hey. Hey. Okay, Oh. Benji, sit down, my son. Sit down. Hey. Okay, Gilly is pregnant. Chukuna, thank you. Oh, praise God. Oh. Okay, Gilly. Please, my son, my daughter. Let us forget. Anything that has happened in this house. I have forgiven Obegeli. And anything that I have done to you people, please forgive me. Let all bygone be bygone. Please. Eh? Obegeli? Pregnant. Let us go inside. Let me go and do it. Chalu, chalu, my daughter is pregnant. She can just steal your family. Eh? Help! Chukuni, you see your father, go. Tell your best son. You know what? Oh, come inside. I'm going to cook for you. Good girl. Hmm? Okay, get pregnant. Help! Oh, Mama. My daughter. Oh, yeah. Eat. Eat. Hmm? Eat. So that you can feed my grandchild. Mama, I am okay. Mm. I don't want the baby to grow fat. Mm? See these hands, they are very big. I can carry fat children. <laughs> Eat so that let my baby grow. Baby, grow. Mm. Grow very well. My hands are very fat. I will carry them. Don't worry. Your mother is still alive. Both of us will be here. We'll carry the children. Just give us babies, eh? Is big. She's only five months pregnant. Ah, yes. Good. Did you come out in five months? <laughs> uh, it takes nine months, nine full months for a woman to deliver. Well. Uh, you still have some months ahead. Don't worry. 
I'll soon come back so that I can take care of her in the hospital. Mama, please do as you have promised her. I promise I will come back. And remember to tell Obi's mother too. Oh, Obi's mother will be delighted to hear the news. <laughs> and uh, you never can tell if she's free when I'm coming back. She might come with me. Ah, beautiful. Yes. Better. Better. Uh -huh. Okay. Jude! Jude! Sir! Come, come on, open this gate. Didn't you see us come out? Jude! Uh, Mama. I'm going now. Yeah, yeah. You people should take very good care of yourself, okay? Okay, Mama. I'll Mama. see you when next I come. Yeah, thank you, Mama. Okay. Yeah. Bye bye, eh? Bye without letting anybody know your movement. Eh? You kept us worried. Why? Uh, uh, now you Gilly. Must I wait for you to come back before I respond to my son's urgent call from the city? What urgent call is that? Eh? Can't you wait? Uloma, the village is no longer safe not to talk of the city. Have you wait? Uloma, the village is no longer safe not to talk of the city. Haven't you heard uh, in recent times the, the strange and terrible things that are happening eh, both in the city and everywhere? Eh? <laughs> now you agree. What strange and terrible things are you talking about? For your information, my daughter-in-law is about to put to bed. Eh? Yes. And I will soon go to the city and stay on for the Thanksgiving ceremony and even the Omogo. Uh, Oloma, you should have, you should have informed people. You kept us worried, eh? I thought that you had been kidnapped. In fact, I was about going to uh, the, the the police station to report. Oh God, <laughs> kidnapped me, Oloma, kidnapped. <laughs> Anyone that kidnaps Oloma is in trouble. How do you mean? Because the kidnappers will get an important visitor. That day, I will stay on and consume and consume and eat and eat and eat up all their food until they find me a nuisance and push me out. Don't lose a sleep over Uloma. <laughs> Don't lose a sleep here. Yeah? Uloma cannot be kidnapped. Come, let me go and show you the things my son bought for you. Yeah. Ah, he bought fine, fine things. How are you going to sell your pepper today? 20 naira. No sell three for 50 naira. Mama, mama go beat me for us. Put 100 naira. At times, I wonder the kind of spirit this woman possesses. Sometimes, she's your good friend. Sometimes, your worst enemy. I know I've not done her anything wrong. It's today, no day, my AK market day, we say we should meet here and discuss. Olama! Olama! Eh? When did you come back from the city? Just yesterday. How is market? Lazy bones. Mm, <laughs> How are you? Mm. 
he didn't sleep a wink last night. We were just tossing and turning. Junior really dealt with him. Excuse me. <laughs> it's alright. Let me, let me, let me, let me, let me hear him out. Hey, stop, stop, stop that. Look, I just wanted to talk to him. Look, Junior. Daddy will be going out very soon, okay? Make sure under no circumstance should you kick mommy. Hmm? He is not kicking me. I'm only trying to help your situation he here. He is not kicking okay, me. Okay, okay. Junior, kick mommy. Oh. <laughs> I love you. I love you too. I have to go for my appointment now, okay? If anything crops up, give me a call. I am fine. Okay, good. But if anything crops up, give me a call, okay? All right. All I right. will. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I gotta go. Okay. Take care of yourself, man. Eh? You too. Mm. Junior. Uh, I love you. I love you too. Bye bye. Bye bye. Yeah.
Please come. Ah! Sorry, sorry. 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 She can't walk. She can't walk. The baby will soon come out. Hold on, hold on. Let me get this. until I'm back, okay? <laughs> Darling, the family will miss you too. It won't be easy. I know. <laughs> I'll miss you people too, but um, I'm confident that the eternal Father of mercy will take care of you people. <laughs> Amen. Guide and protect you until I'm back from my trip. Amen. And the almighty God will grant you Johnny mercy and success. Amen. And you will come back safely through Christ our Lord. Amen. <laughs> mm, I'll see you when I come back. Hmm? Yes. <laughs> Honey. So I'm back, okay? All right. See you. Okay. Thank you. Bye. Bye. How is it coming on? The doctor will soon be with you. God, I have labored for seven years without any issue. Now that the good Lord wishes to bless me, let the hands of all the evil ones in my household wither and the rice go blind in Jesus' name. Amen. Uh, Dr. Mike, I, I hope everything is all right. How, how is my wife? I must say congratulations to you, Ben. She gave birth to a baby boy. Huh? Great God, you've done a marvelous thing and it's marvelous in our sight. Dr. Mike, you, you mean I am now a father? You are by the grace of God. Can I go in now and see my wife? No, not now. You have to wait a little. The nurses are not yet through with her. But why would you at least go home and get her food and other things that she might need? I, I'll go, Dr. Mike. But, but first, can I at least see my baby? Okay, the baby. Okay, come along.
Mark. I want to thank you very much for all you've done for me, okay? Thank you for being my friend, and thank you for being a wonderful doctor. Thank you very much. Ah, my wonderful nurses, you were wonderful. How do I begin to thank you all for what you've done for me? Only God can bless and reward you. Amen. I really appreciate this, okay? Thank um, you, sir. Let me, um, uh, please, for all of you. Thank you, sir. Thank you, too. Thank you, too. And I want to promise you that I will invite you all for my son's naming ceremony that will come up very soon. Hey! <laughs> well, thank you very much. Thank, thank you very much. Doctor, thank you. Bye bye. Oh boy, I've been trying to reach you since you left the country. What's up? Yes, your family is fine. I went there yesterday. Look, you don't need anyone to tell you that. I won. Everything about him is the same as mine. He's a chief of the old block. What did you, what did you call him? <laughs> the golden boy. He's your golden boy. <laughs> mm, no cause for alarm, I'll tell her, I'll tell her. I can, I can. I hope you'll be back before the month runs out. Please, 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 please try. I have booked the last Saturday of the month for your Golden Boys naming ceremony. <laughs> Okay then, I'm expecting you. I, no, no, no. Ah, yeah, thank you very much, thank you. How is your business coming on? Aha, bring plenty of dollars back. For your golden boy now. <laughs> it's all right, I'm expecting you. I'll call you later. Bye. Sit down. Here. Yeah. Mm. <laughs> Mama, you are enjoying. Mm. <laughs> what is life? Uh, mm. Mama, tell you. You shouldn't have kept the baby on the settee. Uh. What if he urinates there? Please, please, please. Mama, let me take him to his room and keep him in the cup. Uh, uh, hey, 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 leave him there now. Why are you harassing the poor chap? Okay. Hey, harassing? The, ba the basic problem is if he urinates the Abby? Yes. Are you the owner of this house? Is this poor chap, this young dashing man like uh, the father, is he not the owner of this house? If he likes, hey, he can urinate hey. anywhere he wants to. Mm. Please leave my son there for me, I beg you. Benji is correct. Mm? That reminds me. When I gave back to him, he urinated on his but, father's whoa, favorite outfit. Go! <laughs> His father said exactly the same thing. <laughs> Men, they always like that. Come no, on. are you embarrassing me, please? Uh, yeah, yeah, you. Oh, yeah. John, you are just <laughs> wetty, wetty pants. <laughs> Everywhere I take him to, he will urinate. The urine will go like that. Mama, the baby is still tender. Hey, hey. Before I forget, eh? Open one. Eh? Forget about the baby, eh? Come and eat your food. I personally prepared. Oh, food is that for you? I want. <laughs> Wait, wait, lest I forget. 
Ken phone today when I was in the office. Mm. Oh, Mama, watches on her? Mm, because he's your twin brother. <laughs> <laughs> well, listen. Mm. He said he'll be coming back by the end of this month. And I have fixed my son's naming ceremony for the last Saturday of I this month. Hey! That's a good idea. <laughs> Very good idea. Mm -hmm. You know when they were young, people used to think that Ben and Ken we are twin brothers. Mm -hmm. Mama, story Even the last. Today, Mama, people mm -hmm. still don't believe they're not from the same womb. <laughs> so, Ken and I are inseparable. Mm -hmm. And we remain so until death do us part. Hey, hey, Please, I want to eat my food. Well, I beg you. <laughs> hey! you wouldn't be able to make it for the child naming ceremony. In fact, I was almost ready to leave. Well, I promised Ben that I would make it and I wouldn't have missed it for anything in the world. <laughs> <laughs> By the way, how are the kids? Where are they? Oh, I took them over to Auntie Jimmy's house oh, okay. so I can attend the party. Okay, fine. Uh, I'll just go and freshen up so that we can go together. Is that okay? Yes, but I'll come with you so I will run your back for you. Okay. Let's go. Let me help you. God is awesome. God is 
God! Please! Hmm. Hmm. Take calamity. God, please. Please do not allow our baby to die. Please save this baby. Save our baby, please. Please, God. Ah! God, why should this happen to me? Why? If I had known, I would not have returned. If anything happens to this baby, I'm finished. God, please. Please save our baby, please. Oh, please, God, intervene. Save my grandson. Please save him. Do you know responding to treatment? Be a man. I'm sorry, he gave up the ghost. Hey! Hello! You are... No. I can't believe this. Stay your hands with blood, always believe in his name. 